look, I know how it feels to be socially awkward. And I mean, truth be told, I still am socially awkward to this day sometimes. No one has, really no one has completely overcome it. It's basically impossible to never be socially awkward or just never to be anxious in some sort of way. It's, it's really hard and I haven't overcome that completely. But over the years, I've become way more confident with everything, you know. I've been able to actually articulate myself to people and to speak what I wanted to say, to say what I wanted to say whenever I wanted to. I didn't want to become someone's friend. I didn't want to be cool. I just wanted to be myself. And being yourself is the best thing because when you're yourself, people will come to you and you don't have to chase anyone. The, the thing that people get wrong is they try to chase people. They try to forcefully become someone's friend by doing things that they think is going to get them cool or popular, which ends up being counterintuitive and they end up becoming annoying. You know, you probably know those people who are like are really like clingy to you, which is pretty annoying. It happens. But those people are, I feel really bad for them because they probably don't have many friends and they're just trying to gets people to talk to them, but they're just doing the wrong thing. You can't just start coming up to people and trying to force them to be their friend. You have to be yourself in every situation and then people will come to you. I mean, of course you wanna approach people, but you don't wanna force them to become your friend. But I've experienced social anxiety so many times. I was the kid who would be picked on. I was the nice kid. I, I, I've always got picked on and middle school and you know in elementary school all the time i was pretty chubby too and that just made it even e easier i was really nice i wasn't kind because there's a difference between kindness kindness is when you assert yourself but being nice is when you try to put on a fake persona to get people to like you that's a different thing so i was a nice guy which is not good i don't want you to be like that but you probably are one right now if you're struggling socially but I was like that and I was like you. And in some areas I still am like you, but I really struggled that it was really hard for me because when people made fun of me, I couldn't make fun of them back. I had nothing to say because I was so awkward. I didn't know what to say. And I was just really nice. I would let people step over me in every situation, which was absolutely ruining. But people think that you can improve confidence by using body language and all that. There's easy tricks and tips, but that's just not true. Look, confidence comes from your inner beliefs and you have to change them because your beliefs are wrong right now. Look, you're thinking of yourself as a socially awkward person and which is completely wrong. If you have the belief that you're socially awkward, you will not become confident because you believe that you are socially awkward. And you won't change that until you believe that you are confident. So first thing, you want to put your belief into you. You want to tell to yourself, you want to affirm yourself that you are confident. You are that confident guy. You want to be confident and you are confident. You're not trying to be confident. You are confident and you can talk to people. And that's the first thing. Have the belief that you're confident. Second thing, you always want to try to be those cool people. That's the wrong thing. Um, you want to be that cool guy and all that, the one that girls snap all the time. But the truth is those cool guys, and I was one of them before. I mean, I still am a little bit, but I wouldn't call myself cool. But those cool guys, they just sit on Snapchat the entire time. Those football players, I'm a football player too, but like the stereotype football player, they're like the cool football players, they sit on Snapchat the entire day, 1 million plus snap score, and just snap people. And they are always worried about what people think of them, who likes me, who doesn't. It's a terrible position to be in. Those cool people, they struggle so much mentally. It's horrible. And they have horrible mental health because they're always, they always care about what others think of them, even more than you. They're always worried about how they look and all that. And they think they only have to look good all the time, even though, you know, they're not, they're not really special, but that's a whole different topic. Being in that position, being in that cool position, the, the position that people usually look up to is absolutely terrible because you'll have horrible mental health. You'll just waste your time on Snapchat, snappy people, thinking about if you look good or not. That's not good because those cool people, they try to get other people to like them, which is wrong. 
they're technically a similar version of you because you're trying to get other people to like you, but you're technically lower than them. So how you want to actually get confidence is to just be yourself in every single situation. You know, like the cool people have a thing on you. They have a strong point and their strong point is that they say stuff whenever they want to. They have no social anxiety and you get rid of social anxiety by being yourself and you have to set that belief in your brain that your happiness does not depend on how other people think of you. Now, if you're fat, that you should probably change that. But if you're fit, if you're in a good position, if you look pretty good, if you improve yourself during a decent period of time and you're struggling socially, you need to remove the belief that your happiness depends on your social circle and how other people think of you. Because truth be told is that, you know, you will not be happy unless your inner self is happy. You have to get your inner self to be happy. When you're being yourself, you're happy. And when you try to do things for other people and you try to look good for other people, for other people to like you, you're technically doing things for them. And you depend on other people's opinion, which is wrong. You don't want to depend on anyone. You don't want to depend on compliments. You want to depend on your own brain and willpower and mental health, your mindset, your beliefs. Those are the only things that determine your actual happiness. And you'll only be truly happy if you're actually yourself and you're not trying to put on a fake persona. People try to be confident by copying other people, which is just wrong. Stop copying other people because you won't stand out. You have to stand out and when you are being yourself, you stand out. You have to realize that. Just come to people, say random things, articulate yourself well, know how to talk. I know it's gonna take a while. I know that it's really hard. And the people who are scared and realize that you have to work for this to actually gain confidence, they clicked off already. But to actually gain confidence, you have to put in these beliefs. You have to not be dependent on how other people think of you. And you have to affirm yourself that you are a confident person. And in those social situations, if you think like that, you won't have any social anxiety because you just don't give a shit about what other people think of you. If you don't care, you just will talk however you want, whenever you want, because you just won't care about other people's opinion. Now, this applies to literally everything, a presentation in class, talking to a girl, being at a party. I don't know. It applies to anything because if you don't care about how other people think of you, you'll be the confident, you'll be the most confident person in the room. Those cool people, they are cool and popular because they know how to talk. They are being themselves and they're not trying to get like any other people's attention. They're just trying to be themselves, which is good. But they're also on Snapchat the entire time, which ruins your mental health. But you have to not be dependent on other people's opinion of you and just don't give a fuck. Now, a really good book you should read is The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. It's a really good book and it just teaches you how to not care about really anything. And once you have that mindset, you'll be the most confident person in the room. Now, three things I will tell you to actually just instantly be more confident. The first thing is to think, what is the worst thing that can happen? When you're approaching a girl, what is the worst thing that can happen? You've heard this many times, but the worst thing that can happen is just no. And what after that? Nothing's after that. Bam, that's it. She says no, you walk away. And then you go to the next girl. It's really not that hard. She's just going to say no. Boom, your ego might be a little hit, but it's your ego. So it's really fine. And you just go to the next girl. Bam, you get a success. Ooh, your ego's high. But then you get a, another decline. You get a no. And a no isn't bad. A no is the worst thing. Just the word no. Two letters. No. That's it. If you think about it, it's funny how you're scared of a word no. So just once you think about the worst option, once you think about the worst thing that can happen, it becomes tiny and you easily do it because you know what the worst thing that can happen is just the, wor the word no. Now, another thing that will help you in social situations is to realize that you will die. And I know it can sound really depressing, but all of us will die. And if you don't go out and do this right now and you don't go up to talk to that person, you've missed it. You've missed the opportunity for your entire life. This is a really big booster and it really makes you want to do it more because you realize that your time is finite. People don't 
people sometimes forget that they will die one day and that if they don't try, they might not be able to try. They'll regret it for the rest of their life. So remember that you will die. So go try and do that thing that you're scared of. Confidence just completely comes from the inside and how you think of yourself. If you think of yourself as not confident, you won't be confident. So think of yourself as confident affirmations every single day. Tell yourself that you're a confident guy and you'll become confident. That's how just how it works. Go practice, go talk to people because without practice, there won't be anything. You won't become confident if you don't talk to people. I know it might sound crazy, but you have to go out and talk to people and then you will become confident. Now, I hope these tips helped you and comment down below if you like this video. I'd like to hear some of your philosophies. I hope this video helps you, bro. Subscribe if you want and go good off YouTube.